welcome to the Mythbusters After Show. We are answering questions from Wrecking Ball Baloney. Without further ado, Jamie, the first question is, your six-inch ball-bearing cradle was lovely. Where is it now, and can I have it? Well, it's a little large, and so it's been disassembled, and no, you cannot. <laughs> it's mine. You can buy your own 33-pound, six-inch, what, $250 ball bearings and make your own. All right, next question. Oh, man. Now I've unleashed it. Okay, next question. I love seeing more of the build process in this episode. Will we be seeing more of that going forward? Well, that's up to the editors because uh, we always love to put more build process in. It's, there are a lot of considerations. We actually have to tell a story. That's and, true. you know, it, it's, it's a balance. But uh, if we can, we will. Absolutely. Truly. Next question. When you decided to go full scale, you started with a small scale test that had failed. I think that means these hollow steel balls filled with ceramic plaster. Then you brainstormed a new design but went straight to full scale without a small scale test and it then failed. Do we now regret not doing a small scale test for that brainstorm design? Well, um, not really. The final design was different because we had put those solid steel plates right down yeah. the middle. And, um, you know, the, at a certain point, you just have to go for the full scale to see what the full scale will do. And you totally do. And uh, that was hardened steel plates that were three inches thick. It was pretty much nothing else we could have done to make those ball bearings, those wrecking balls, more massive or more reactive. Except for one thing, which I would have wanted to do, and that is get yet harder steel to put <laughs> down the middle. It is possible there is harder steel. It's, a, it's an expense question, though. Uh, this uh, was harder. We didn't exactly know how much it was going to be affected, but uh, it did flatten over time, which tells us that it's not the same as a real ball bearing, and ideally we would have something that is at least as hard, if not harder, than a real ball bearing. But we also ended up getting some research from a physicist at the end that said that we probably couldn't have, under any circumstances, achieved steel balls that large that would have behaved like a real Newton cradle. There's just too much mass and the transfer just doesn't work at that scale. Yeah, but I'd like to try. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question. Did you really think this was going to work? Well, yes, I what? thought it was only going to be a question of to what degree because yeah. obviously these things you know they swing like the real toy they they're going to hit there's going to be a reaction of some sort they're not just going to sit there but you know it, it was whether they would keep going and and what would be what would it actually be like this is just one of those things that you have to try it to find out what it'll do. Well, I want to address the larger question here, which is, did we proceed down this path with, with significant expectations about its failure or success? And the fact is, is we were worried about its failure. We were certainly worried about its failure. Um, but we didn't expect its failure. We, we worked very hard to achieve the best success that we could. And at several points, we, we felt up about it, and we felt down about it, and we felt up about it, and we felt down about it. And at a certain point, You've just got to go for it, even if you suspect it's not going to go. But, I mean, right up until the day before we loaded in, Jamie was, like, rolling the wrecking balls across the shop floor and watching them bounce off each other and getting really excited for Jamie. I will say, though, that we knew from the outset that uh, these common ball bearings, even though this is a big one, are, you know, they're, they're really extraordinarily hard. They're, yeah. they're made for that purpose. And... For us to achieve something that performs even as well as that is was something that we knew from the outset that you know we weren't going to get something that was this hard, no. and you know it it, it also is uh, you have to keep in mind that even if we did, uh, the scale is so much larger that if anything we would need something that's harder yeah. than this to make it work really well and. Uh, you know, we uh, can't make the things out of diamond, you know, so uh, I think we knew that it wasn't going to work quite as well. well. I mean, all these things bounce around in our heads the whole way we're going, and it mean, it mean, it, that informs the design that we come up with. I mean, you know, we're constantly battling back and forth to bring up things like that, and how can we address that, and how can we, how can we alter that? But um, we really, we wanted it to succeed. Yeah, but that being said, it's, it's, it is what it is. You know, we're, we don't 
test, we don't go into this stuff uh, knowing the answers and, yeah. and it's, it's all about the process. It's about actually testing it to see what really does happen.